Good morning, blessed people of the Lord God Almighty. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful day this morning. Um, sure, I've, I've received so much uh, um, motivation and encouragement from people around that are, are busy, um, drawing closer to the Lord. And, and as we are drawing closer to uh, the three days of the revival. So again, like I said yesterday, um, almost difficult, uh, almost too difficult to contain my excitement. Uh, everybody I speak to, they, they look at me weird because they, uh, they can see my eyes that uh, I'm not normal. There's, there's something different. And family in Jesus, it, it's all because of him. It's all because of him. I want to end this beautiful, powerful week, this Saturday that we have to rest and to spend with our family. I want to end with a scripture uh, that the Lord, is, the Lord is keeping on showing me in the word of God what he is going to and wants to do um, over the Passover that is coming right now. If you want to follow, um, again in the book of Isaiah, I'm going to be reading out of chapter 51 this morning. Chapter 51, I'm going to try and keep it short this morning that you can go and spend time with uh, your family, your friends, maybe go spend time with the Lord, draw closer to Him. So Isaiah 51 uh, from verse 1. The Bible says, Listen to me, you who pursue righteousness and who seek the Lord. So if that's you, if you pursue righteousness and you seek the Lord, the Lord says, Listen. So listen carefully. Look to the rock from which you were cut. And to the quarry from which you were brought. Hallelujah. Look to Jesus. We were cut from Jesus. Jesus the rock. We were taken from him. And we were placed here on earth to make more. More disciples. More people. Amen. Uh, verse 2. Look to Abraham your father. To Sarah. Uh, who gave you birth. When I called him. He was only one man. And I blessed him. And made him many. Family in Jesus. <laughs> the Lord wants to take us over those three days. That we are going to have those revival uh, services. And he wants to multiply his disciples. He is sending us in there one by one. And he wants us to leave there ten by ten. Amen. Then the word of God goes on. Verse 3. The Lord will surely comfort Zion and will look with compassion on all her ruins. He will make her uh, deserts like Eden, her wastes land like the garden of the Lord. Look what the Lord is saying here, family in Jesus. Again, I'm not replacing anything in the word of God. I want to pray this as a prayer. The Lord says here that he wants to take the... Desert areas, spiritually desert areas of uh, Altham. And he wants to make it like a garden of the Lord. The Lord wants to come over those three days. And not only those three days and then nothing. The Lord wants to continue with it. Every single person that the Lord touches on those three days. We must pull them in like family, close family. And, and we must nurture them. We must look after them. We must... Feed them with the, the word of God and we must bless them with love. The Lord will take care of the rest. The Lord will take care of their sin. The Lord will take care of their, their unrighteousness. And we must just throw, show them, sorry, the truth of the word of God. Just show them the truth of the word of God. And the Lord will take whatever is or looks like or feels like desert. And he will create a beautiful garden in that area and that comes back to the river of life that we spoke about a while ago uh, the water of life which is the holy spirit amen the holy spirit of jesus our family in jesus this it's going to be glorious it is going to be glorious yes our flesh is feeling it maybe some of us are are, are tired and we've been working hard to try and sort uh, a lot of things out a lot of us have been busy the past two, three weeks, every single night, every single day, trying to get everything ready and into order. And, and But family in Jesus, 
Our God does not sleep. And our God says to us in his word that diligent hands create wealth. And we are working in God's kingdom, not only physically, but yes, spiritually as well. Because when our body gets tired, we must fall before the Lord and we must seek that new strength from him. That strength that only he can give. And he, he uh, blesses us in our spirits and in our hearts. And then through that, it rejuvenates and it, it wakes up our bodies and we are ready to go again the next day. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I, I cannot think that I lived, not even lived, that I survived the first 22 years of my life without Christ. I, I can't think it. Um, standing here now, it feels like I'm, I'm standing in a, in, in a waterfall, just being drenched by uh, the, the river of life. And that is also true um, through that scripture that the word of God says to us that the Holy Spirit, he, when, he, when he dwells inside of us, it's like a, a well that is welling up and, and, and whatever our heart is filled with, our mouth will speak. The family in Jesus, the closer that we get to uh, the Passover weekend, we, we must uh, proclaim and speak and call and proclaim and speak and call. The Bible says, call that that is not as if it is. We must say to God, thank you, Father God. Thank you for those souls that are going to be saved. And not 10 or 20. No, Jesus did not die for 10 or 20. Jesus died for hundreds, thousands, millions. So we must not even put a limit on it. We must say, Father God, fill. Fill, Lord. Fill your storehouses. And when your storehouses are filled, Lord, bless us with the opportunity and, and the prosperity to be able to build bigger or more storehouses. Because family in Jesus, this is not about numbers. This is about souls. It is about souls that we can uh, save because Jesus has called us, Matthew 28, to save those souls. Jesus clearly said there, go out and make disciples. and Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I am dreaming. I, I, am, I, I am seeing visions of where we are taking hundreds of people to a river nearby and baptizing them. And they are being filled with the Holy Spirit. And we are changing not only Altham, but Taranaki and, and the North Island and then eventually the South Island. Family in Jesus, the time has come. The time has come and we must now take a hold of the cloak of Jesus Christ. And we must hold on for dear life because Jesus is moving. And if I let go of him, I'm going to be left behind. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, glory, glory, glory be to the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for entrusting us with this absolutely amazing um, task that you have uh, given us, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. It is a privilege. Yes, Lord, it is hard work. But Lord Jesus, we are about to step into something and we are about to do something that no one else has ever done before, Lord. I am calling it today, Lord Jesus. We are going to see something happening that, it, that can only be described as godly. And so we thank you for that. In advance, Lord Jesus, before it has, has physically even happened, spiritually, we know, Lord Jesus. And we pray right now, please, Lord Jesus, that um, you will already send your angels out ahead of us, Lord, to those three days, Lord. That you will prepare the soil, that you will prepare the, the, the hall, Lord, uh, the, the town hall, anything and everything that, that is in there that is not of your kingdom, that does not bring you glory, and that might stand against what we are going to do. I pray, Lord Jesus, that by the Spirit of God, that that will be um, rebuked and chased out in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, then I pray that you will draw up a legion of angels around that hall, Lord. Hedge it in and protect it. Keep it clean and pure and anointed for those three days, Lord Jesus. Bless it. Bless it. Bless it be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. We love you.
And we thank you and we pray this in your name alone. Amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, family in Jesus. Um, I hope you have a, a blessed Saturday. Before I end, uh, like always, I want to extend an invitation to anyone and everyone that has not yet uh, come to visit us here. Or maybe you have visited us and, and for some reason uh, you haven't come back in a while. I want to invite you to come and um, uh, visit us again tomorrow, 10 o'clock. Uh, here at Altham Baptist Church, we are starting with uh, worship and then we are going into word. Uh, if the mornings are a, a, a little bit early for you or you've worked uh, late uh, or whatever, um, half past six tomorrow night, we have an evening service. The evening services, uh, we are completely, completely give to the Holy Spirit. Whatever the Spirit of God wants, wants to do. Not that we don't do that in the morning service. We, we do that as well, um, but the evening services, give it to the Holy Spirit, see what the Holy Spirit does in us and, and, and through us. So I want to invite you, if you have children and you are maybe concerned that the children are going to uh, keep you from the worship or, or the word, we've got a children's church here, you can come and book them in and you can sit and you can just worship the Lord. Um, so I am excited to see you here. Uh, at uh, Altham Baptist Church tomorrow, 10 o'clock or half past six. Um, and until then, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.